Short-acting contraceptives are the most commonly used in our country. The most commonly used form of birth control is the oral contraceptive pill. The oral contraceptive pill has two hormones, estrogen and progesterone. And basically what they try to do is decrease ovulation and thin the uterine lining. That's why many women who take it actually feel like they have um, lighter periods um, and their periods can be even more predictable. The benefit of the pill is that it may make your skin clearer. It's effective contraception if you take it perfectly. Um, and it also can make your periods lighter, lighter and less painful. The downside of the pill is that you have to take it really every single day around the same time. Occasionally you can miss a pill and not get pregnant, but if it becomes a recurring issue where you're missing pills regularly, then the chance of you getting pregnant becomes significantly higher. So we consider the typical use effectiveness for birth control pills to be about 92%. That means that out of 100 couples, eight will be pregnant within a year when they're using the birth control pill. Condoms are probably the, the shortest acting <laughs> contraceptive, and that, re that basically results in about 20 couples out of 100 getting pregnant each year if used well, right? So this means putting it on, before a penis comes anywhere near a vagina, leaving it on through the whole episode of sexual intercourse, leaving it on as the, as the penis comes out, and then making sure there's no break in it, not using any type of lubricant that could degrade it. So many people don't know that like Vaseline will break down a condom and can make it porous and allow a, a gal to get pregnant. Other things that are short acting include the Depo Provera shot. That's actually an injection that you get every three months. It lasts for three months, but you have to get the shot every three months for it to continue to be effective. And then there are other methods of taking uh, estrogen and progesterone that are shorter acting where you don't actually have to take a pill. The Nuva ring is a vaginal ring. It gets inserted up into the vagina. You leave it in for three weeks take it out for a week, have your period during that week, and then put a new one in. So it's great because it gives you a nice continuous level of hormones. You just have to remember to put it back at the end of that fourth week. Otherwise, there's a chance you're gonna ovulate and get pregnant that next cycle. The ortho ever patch is also an effective way of getting estrogen and progesterone. Basically, the patch delivers a continuous level of estrogen and progesterone and you apply it either to your abdomen or your back or your buttock. You don't want to put it on your breast, but basically you leave the patch on for a week, take it off, put a new one on, leave that one on for a week, take it off, put a new one on, leave that one on for a week. So for a total of three weeks, you have the, the patch on. The fourth week, you leave it off. That week, you'll have your period, and then you put a fresh pack on at the end of that week. All these methods require that you remember to use it and that you use it continuously. So they're very effective if you're very conscientious and compulsive and you can remember the day that you need to put your patch on or remember what time you take your pill. So that's the downside of them because some teenagers, not all, but some teenagers have a hard time remembering this stuff and that leads to decreased efficacy. Now none of these methods, except for the condom, decrease your chance of getting a sexually transmitted infection. So you still need to use condoms every single time to protect yourself against gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, warts, HIV, syphilis, you name it, hepatitis. You still need to use condoms to decrease the chance of getting those infections.